Good morning. Today is Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023. This morning, I want to share with you a two-minute video. It is a magnificent lesson and outlook on life that can inspire every single one of us. You may have seen it. But first, I need to provide some context. Last Wednesday, the Milwaukee Bucks basketball team lost to the Miami Heat. It was a giant upset because the Bucks were the best team in the NBA, National Basketball Association. They have been for the last several years, and they were heavy favorites to win this game. In the last minutes of the game, they were ahead by 16 points. And they lost in the last seconds of overtime, 128 to 126. About as close a loss as is possible. And with that loss came the loss of this year's championship, which many expected the Milwaukee Bucks to win. It was a dramatic, emotional, devastating, and demoralizing end to their season. Now, the amazing success of the Bucks in the last several years is significantly due to one star player, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Another star on their team, Michael Redd, said about Giannis, I've never seen anybody like him. It's almost like he's from another planet. The way he plays is like no other player in the history of this league. He's just incredible. The amount of points he scores, the assists, every aspect of the game. He's phenomenal. And on top of that is his background and his personality. He's a very young man. He was born in Greece. His family is originally from Nigeria. And he is described by the reporters that follow him as sweet natured. He has an irrepressible enthusiasm. He is simply lovable and thoughtful. Now, after the game, there's a tradition after these championship games, there's a press conference where reporters ask players questions. Usually, the questions and answers sound kind of canned, uh, filled with cliches. That's usually how it goes. But something very dramatic happened Wednesday night after this game at this press conference. A question was asked by a sports reporter named Eric Nem, N E H M. Now, Nem's full time job is covering the Milwaukee Bucks. So, Eric and Giannis know each other very well and talk together very, very often over the last several years. This exchange that they had at this press conference has now been seen by millions of people and hotly debated in the days since, with many questioning how Eric could have possibly asked the question that he asked. In fact, after being criticized for asking the question, which I'm gonna to get to in a few minutes, the next night on Thursday night, Eric Nem appeared on a different show, and he said that the reason he asked the question that he asked is because he knows Giannis to be a thoughtful and philosophical person, 
And he sincerely wanted to hear this unique young man's answer to the question that he asked. Now, what led to the question is that all season long, this team has been focused on only one thing, winning. Had they won, it would have been the second championship in the last three seasons. And earlier this season, in March, Giannis himself had said in another interview, he said, why I'm here, meaning at this level of the NBA playing pro basketball, is because I'm desperate. I'm not as ta talented as some of the other players. I'm desperate. I'm obsessed. I'm scared to lose what God gave me and the life that I provided for my kids and my brothers and for my mom. I'm scared. So I work as hard as I can because I don't want to lose. And it's not going to stop until I'm out of this league and no longer play. The disappointing loss Wednesday night was, to a substantial extent, because Giannis did not play nearly as well as he is capable of playing. So this press conference was emotional, raw, potentially explosive. And then Eric Nem asked Giannis this question. Do you view this season as a failure? So I want you to keep all that background in your mind as you watch the response. It's two minutes. The response of this young, talented, frustrated, thoughtful star player. I just asked Bud the exact same question, but uh, I'm curious for you. Do you view this season as a failure? <sighs> oh, my God. Uh, okay, because I'm not that up. You asked me the same question last year, Eric. Okay. Uh, do, you get, do you get a promotion every year on your job? No, right? So every year you work is a failure. Yes or no? No. Every every year you work, you work towards something, towards a goal, right? Which is to get a promotion, to be able to uh, take care of your family, to be able, I don't know, um, provide a house for them or take care of your parents. You work towards a goal. It's not a failure. It's steps to success. You know, and if you've never, I don't, know, I don't want to, I don't want to make it personal. So, there's always steps to it. You know, um, Michael Jordan played 15 years, won six championship. The other nine years was a failure. That's what you're telling me. No, I'm asking you a question. Yes or no? Okay, exactly. So why are you asking me that question? It's a wrong question. There's no failure in sports. You know, there's good days, bad days. Some days, some days you are able to uh, be successful. Some days you're not. Some days it's your turn. Some days it's not your turn. And that's what sports is about. You don't always win. Some other other people is gonna win. And this year, somebody else is going to win. Similar as that. We're going to come back next year, try to be better, try to build good habits, try to um, play better, not have a 10-day stretch with uh, playing bad basketball, you know, and hopefully we can win a championship. So 50 years from 1971 to 2021 that we didn't win a championship, it was 50 years of failure. No, it was not. It was steps to it, you know, and we, we were able to win one. Hopefully we can win another one. You know, I, sorry that I didn't want to make it personal because you asked me the same question last year, and I, last year I wasn't in the in the uh, right um, mind space to answer the question back, but I remember it. There's no failure in sports. There's no failure in life. It's a remarkable lesson about life from a remarkable young man. My friends, I wish you a great day. 
And I look forward to seeing you soon in person.